So this week I wanted to talk about in our continuing series of learning about real estate as the ideal investment, I wanted to talk about um, just the amazing thing of equity and equity is something that occurs that is the difference between what you pay for a property and what it's worth. And that difference in between what you pay and maybe what you spend to fix it up. Well, that difference in what it's worth at your, at your sale of the property, that is called equity. And when you add our business model to it, that helps people to end up with home ownership, regardless of credit or financial background, you actually get a premium boost in the price. And by the way, with the buyer's knowledge and consent that there is a markup involved in it for the risk that you're taking. And sure enough, there is an opportunity for that wonderful thing called equity. Now equity is a great thing because equity is when you own property, equity is something that is always there, always present. And depending upon the market that we're in, you're always able to earn income off equity when you're investing in income producing property. So I for income, remember, and real estate being the ideal investment, I for income, D for depreciation. One of the great things we get uh, for investing in income producing property and particularly residential income producing property, we get depreciation. And then E, E for equity, equity build up equity at the time of purchase. And another way that we get equity is to force equity when we fix up a property and bring it to current market conditions, current market values, then we're able sometimes to, if it was just in bad condition or a hoarder house or whatever, boom, we can increase the equity on a property by doing the fix up. So that's another way that we advance ourselves in our business. And next week, I'm going to be talking about the next letter in the alphabet. <laughs> and that is for ideal investment, A for appreciation. And then we'll end the series with a L for leverage. So I don't know if you're like me, but I believe that real estate and it's particularly income producing real estate is the ideal investment.